Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Nida Sheikh from Dento Magic. If you are new here, then welcome. And if you are already been a Dento Magic family, then welcome back. In today's video, I will be talking about ORE Part Two. I will be discussing what you can expect in day one of OSCE exam. In how many parts they are divided, how much time you are allocated for each part. and how you can prepare yourself according to these days so what we are waiting for let's start coming to the first part that is day 1 in which osce is conducted osce is also known as objective structured clinical examination this lasts for 5 minutes each and there are total number of 17 sections in this exam total number of recitation are 4 to 5 in number and osc is divided into three types type 1 type 2 and type 3 type 1 is written osc in which you will be given clinical scenarios the clinical scenarios that you will be given will be like what you see in the image what observation are there in the radiograph prescription writing reference writing identifying the instruments etc etc so you have to be prepared for the written exam also and you will not get enough time you just have to be very quick and sharp at that point of time when the questions comes in comment down below if you want to know the complete syllabus and in detail about the clinical scenarios that you will be getting in the exam and i will come up with a video for you guys second type of osce this is the oral osce in this you will be provided with the actors which will come to you and discuss their problems and in this you will be expected to get take the history to give the diagnosis or either to give the management of the cases so be very careful and listen to the patient very carefully in order to give the correct management diagnosis and take the right history Type 3 is skilled OSCE. In this you will be asked to take the x-ray or you will be asked to take do the suture. The things that you need in the daily basis of the clinical practice. So make sure that you are confident enough to do all these things. So this ends with day 1 and OSCE exam. Now one thing that you have to uh, remember that is each section of osce starts with a bell and before the time ends half a minute before you, the bell will be ring to make sure to tell you that only 30 seconds is left so that you can hurry up and complete the answer that you have it after every 5 to 6 sets of osce you will be provided with the rest and in that duration you are not allowed to do anything you are not allowed to write anything in your answer sheet or correct anything in your answer sheet that is a complete rest i would recommend you to please relax yourself for the next rounds as your peace of mind is very important for this exam to pass coming to the part 2 that is day 2 in which dental mannequin exam is conducted this one is a little bit tricky but if you have done the courses then you will be able to clear this exam very easily as it gives you a skill set and you will learn new things from the courses and it will give you a self confidence from within and if you haven't seen my video on the courses that you have to do and uh, what institute provide you with these courses then go and watch my video on ore part 2 courses and i will provide you the link in the description box also so go and watch it now on this day your hand skills are tested this is completely your skill based exam the total time you will be given is 3 hours and there will be total number of 4 exercises here is a small tip for you guys whether your first day exam was good or not you make sure that your mind is calm and you are confident enough for the next day so that you can clear the day 2 exam and make sure that your exam goes well as on this point of time the most important thing for you is to clear this exam each mannequin exercises comprises of two majors and one minor 
major comprises exercises like cavity preparation crown preparation and the minor one include the veneers and the impressions it will be of great help for you guys if you guys join the facebook groups that are available for you for ore part 1 and for ore part 2 as well as i have told you in my previous videos also if you haven't watched my previous videos then go and watch it now as i have provided you the link in the description box so go and check it out Coming to the part 3 that is the last day, the day 3 in which you will be uh, giving the dental treatment and medical emergencies exam. I think this will be much more relaxing for you guys compared to the other two days that you have passed. Total number of examiners will be 2 and you will be provided with the actors again which will come to you and explain their problems. Some of the patient will be like they are not able to explain what problems and issues they are having but still you have to be very careful and very mindful about what they are saying as you have to do the following. You have to take their case history, you have to take their present history medical history, dental history and give the diagnosis for their chief complaint and the case they are telling you. The, this section of exam will be for 11 minutes so be very careful in managing your time. You will also be given with the artifacts like vitality test. After all this you will be asked to give the treatment planning. And after the treatment planning, they will be asking you to give the management of the particular case and the scenario they have provided you. The case management is further divided in this exam. It is divided into three phase, initial phase, emergency phase and the oral phase. This is a phase in which you will be asked to explain to the patient how you are going to manage the patient, how you are going to manage the treatment, how you will be carrying out the treatment, what treatment you are going to carry, how much time it is going to take so that you can satisfy the patient with your conversation and what you are telling them. Treatment planning is all about the conversation. If you have a good conversation with your patient and you make a good wrapper with them in the meantime, then that is the best thing. So I would recommend you to practice this treatment planning with somebody when you're practicing a sense of comparison and managing the patient. In a meanwhile, you can also improve yourself. Here is a small tip for you guys again. I would recommend you to practice this uh, in front of the mirror or you can also record yourself while practicing as it will help you to improve yourself and know where you are making mistakes, how you are presenting yourself. One thing that you have to make sure is that you should make sure that your patient is satisfied. Make sure that they are satisfied that you are their dentist and you are able to carry your duties and what you are telling them. You are very confident about that. Once your dental treatment exam is finished, now coming to the next part of the exam that is medical emergencies. The medical emergencies may be taken before the dental treatment or dental treatment will be taken before the medical emergency. It completely depends on the slot that you have got. So you don't have to worry about it. You just have to be prepared enough. The medical emergency exam is further divided into two parts. The first part is the part one is scenario based and part two is basic life support. One more important tip for you guys here is in basic life support, you make sure that you are pulling up the chin of the mannequin for giving the life support because most of the people forget to do so which lead them to fail the exam. I know this is the most smallest tiny uh, detail about it but it's very important as examiners notice this as it helps the mannequin to raise the chest and that will help in the basic life support. So be very careful about it and don't forget to raise the chin of the mannequin. So that was it for the video and I hope I, you have got a good idea on how and what you can expect in the exam and how you can prepare yourself for these exams. If you like the video then don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and be the Dento Magic family. Stay tuned till the next video and stay safe, be happy, Allah Hafiz.